All right, this one's gonna be on NumPy. It's a visual application launcher. At first, I thought it was kind of silly, but after using it, I actually do like it. So, if you wanna try it out, just install it and see. Go to Preference here, and we'll show you some options. So, in the General tab here, basically, well, let me show you how it looks like. All right, this is how it looks like. Now, this is called Pi, and each individual uh, items you have here is called Slice. So let's see if I open that, you know, that's what the goal is to open um, your items. Uh, so what else here? So if you have like a, a lower resolution or something like that, you can actually, um, you know, scale it down to be like small. Let me do it again. So this one looks smaller. But let me go back so you guys can see this. And I do have some uh, themes. What's this first one? Uh, what the? <laughs> what the fuck, right? Uh, the next one is slim which it has some bubble or something like that and then bright what is the bright got it's a big dot funky it got some crazy shit going on right there in the back and let me see here glossy ooh look at that that looks pretty cool and this one is unity with how this is like that's it? What the fuck? And Opi. What the hell? It has some ring stuff right here. So, anyways, we'll go back to the first one and continue our screencast here. Uh, let's go to the Pi tab. Now, they have some by default. Uh, what is it? They have six here. Each individual one is called Pi, and under it, they have. What is it? Slices? So, for example, here, if I want to use this one, I'll go. I have to hit Control Alt W, so Control Alt W, and then if I want to minimize, click Minimize, and you know it minimizes. Now, if you have this little dot next to it, uh, that means that will be your first choice, right? If you don't, then you know um, it will just go by random, I guess. Uh, they do have some other ones like let me see, Control Alt Q. This is for shutdown and stuff like that. Now, if you want to cancel any of these. Either click in the middle here, or you, or you hit escape, and it'll cancel your activation. Uh, the next one is the media. Let me try using Banshee for this. So let's say you want to, um, I guess, change songs or whatever. Let me see how you do that. Control Alt M, and then you go to next, and it'll play the next song or whatever. Basic stuff there. Cancel that out and other stuff like applications that we already did uh, the menu here which is control alt space and it'll give you the menus right but let's get on to making our own because that's the option that I like uh, so if you want to make a new one right click on here and add new pie and here you can give it an icon if you want we'll just give it a heart or whatever and we'll call this I guess testing call it whatever you want and this one is where you assign the hotkey so we'll say control alt P or whatever hotkey that you want and now we're gonna make a slice for this uh, what else you can do in here so if you want to make a slice they have different options like launch an application using a hotkey open pi open URI and slice group so let's do launch application all right what do we want to launch um, I don't know, like this say G edit. Right. And we'll call this text editor, I guess. Oop, editor. There we go. I uh, can give this an icon too if you want. We'll just give it a plus sign or something. And other stuff you can do. Add another slice. Um I would use a different option. Let's say uh press uh was that keystroke? basically means hotkey so let's say we want to use open the terminal so control alt T for terminal and we'll call this terminal right uh, so that's that let's add another one let's see what else they have in this uh, list open pie open pie basically refers to the ones that you already have um, you know in your menu here so if you want to use one of these also you can say I want to use 
I don't know, I guess. Let's say we say use sessions and that would be like your login out and you know login in or whatever. Uh what else do they have here? Add a new slice. And let's say open URI. I think this is only for links. So let's say if I want to go open um http slash I don't know google.com or something. All right. So that's that one. We'll give it uh, I don't know this blue thing here and that's it for that and I think we have how many more to go here well we have one more to go so this is a slice group and this one they have some options like bookmarks and we'll try that also how about that so let's try it now so we have to do is control alt P and now we have all that stuff right we have the options over here and this Google stuff um, but let's get rid of some of these so the Google stuff that we did was this one and this one should open the Google web page there you go it does do that uh, what else is here the plus sign was for text editor so that's uh, gedit so it should open gedit there you go and what else did we do or we didn't do oh yeah the terminal does that open the terminal? Yeah, it does with the hotkey. I think we're missing one. Let me see here. Is that another one? Um, I think. Uh, well, no, that's it. You can do other commands. Like, let's say if you wanted to open a location, you go like Nautilus, um, and then you want to open like your download folder. Download. That's it for that, and we'll give it an icon so you guys can see what I'm talking about. There you go, the coffee cup there, All right? And Control P, we use the coffee cup, and this one should open. Oh, what up? There's an S behind it. S. There you go. And if we do that now, it should open your download folder. So that's how you do it if you want to open locations links uh use hotkeys or commands um that's it really if you want to do that you know what I, I wish they have in here is i know they have the you know the keyboard binding but since you're using your freaking mouse you know i, I wish they have a button binding for the mouse also uh just in case like if you have you know a lot of buttons on your mouse might as well just use that to activate uh the menus Otherwise, I'm probably going to use uh, easy strokes to do this and then activate it and then use it. I'm not sure if that's uh, going to be efficient or not, but I'll give that a try. So, if you like what you saw, give it a try. That's it for this one.